Bethesda just dropped the first gameplay footage for Starfield, and in my opinion is looking very promising. Of course, we know how games look in presentations compared to the released version, but for now, we can take a look at some of the main gameplay features, like on foot and ship combat, atmospheric planets, ship interiors and more. Of course, we see this already in other games, but what will matter most is how Starfield lets you take advantage of them and how they'll influence the gameplay loops. Ok, now that we got the intro out of the way, let's start with the basics. So, it appears the story is set in the future, with the date closer to Elite Dangerous, but unlike Elite, you have a story you can follow. The story starts on Jamison in the New Atlantis City, when you're introduced to the faction called Constellation. If I were to guess, this would be one of the factions you are introduced in the beginning, but you'll find more after you progress the story. The next thing we see are some survival elements on your hood, which means you might have to plan your planet expedition in advance. Another important gameplay element is the scanner. They use it on some rocks which contain basic elements, like iron, probably for mining. When you switch to the scanner, you get more information about the planet too from what we see here. The combat seems decent for a space game, usually it is a bit harder to get the balance between how fast you die before killing an entire pirate base and I really hope there will be an option to make the enemy level dynamic so you can return to old content and not one shot everything. While we are talking about the combat, we can also take a look at the space combat which looks really nice in my opinion and I like it when you are shooting it looks like the hits have weight when they land. I am curious though if you can fly your ship from third person too or is just something used to look at your ship like Star Citizen. And I also hope the flying model is something like Star Citizen or Elite Dangerous and not too arcadey. The lock... sorry. The DigiPick looks interesting but if the game is moddable I think someone will put Skyrim lockpicking system in. I like how the technology is represented in the game by not overdoing it. This is something I like in Elite Dangerous 2 and same with Star Citizen, but they set the game in the more distant future than Elite, so they have room to increase the sci-fi-ness if that term exists. One of the most important aspects for some are the graphics, and in the presentation looks pretty good. It seems it is the next iteration after Fallout 4 and hopefully will run on older hardware, and I say this because in the compact gameplay it seems the frame rate is dropping a bit below 30 frames. Next up we have the character creation, which adds some background to your character and traits add even more depth by adding some benefits but giving you some disadvantages as well. I find this example really funny with the starter home as it will come with a mortgage by default. You also have skills to upgrade, which looks like a combination of Fallout and Skyrim skills systems, a crafting system which will probably go hand in hand with the mining we saw in the beginning, base building, which is something I'm never good at, but is definitely good to have. I wonder if they will add things like having to defend your base from attackers, or if the person you hired to take care of the base will be able to defend it in certain circumstances. Another big item on the list is craftable ships and how you can equip it for specific purpose with the crew and everything. I think it is something closer to what Elite Dangerous would have if they would make ship interiors. You can fly the ship and not just give commands, like Mass Effect for example, or plot the destination and watch a cutscene. In the gameplay trailer you can see three screens and two of them have lots of information. I wonder if the data is accurate and usable when flying. If it is, it will add even more to the immersion. Something they did not show is going from planet to space or the other way around. So I wonder how will they handle that or if it will be just something like a cutscene. They did say though you can land anywhere on the planet, but I wonder if it will have to be an objective or something there to be able to land. And finally, the world size or more appropriately, the exploration aspect of the game. Bethesda promises over 100 systems with more than 1000 planets, which sounds really good for the exploration part, like discovering flora and fauna on distant planets or just cruising in your ship. I think it will keep you busy or away for some time from your main space game if this doesn't become your main game. In conclusion, I think they did a great job with the presentation, but as we learned in the past, the game changes quite a bit between showcases and the actual launch. 
The good thing is that they're taking their time and hopefully this will not turn into Space Cyberpunk or Watch Dogs. For now I guess the only thing we can do is wait for more gameplay trailers and look at how the game progresses. But I will definitely keep an eye on this. If you want to see more content like this please let me know in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed the video please click the like and subscribe buttons.